Hi guys, I'm Kaboom, and welcome to the channel, and all you need to know about today's attack strategy, guys, is yes, it's amazing, but it's got Mike the Minion in. The most powerful troop in Clash of Clans, a wingspan of 73 feet, teeth that are 7 inches long, yes, Mike is amazing. So, we're going to check out the army composition first of all, then we're going to watch some amazing replay. so... Let's meet the troops, guys, okay? So your army is going to consist of eight super wizards, two wizards, one minion, of course, that's Mike. Three golems and ten witches. Your spells are what make this attack strategy so amazing. In total, you're going to have five lightning spells, two of those donated by your clan mates, and then eight earthquake spells. Clan castle troops, two yetis, a valk, and a barbarian. You know his name. It's Bob. And then, guys, we're going to be using the log launcher. So we're going to check out a replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a quick reminder, if you want to see some of the latest and greatest base designs and attack strategies, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the Samus army. Yes, guys. Anyway, let's jump into our first replay now. Let's go. So through the clouds we go. And guys, the first stage of this attack is using all of your spells. You're not going to have any spells left. Now, what I want you to do is put four earthquake spells on the town hall and the surrounding area. Try and open up the base if you can. That means the log launcher can now destroy the town hall. And the next four earthquake spells on the eagle artillery and the surrounding structures, which means the five lightning spells can then take out the eagle artillery. Oh no, it's still standing. Do you know why, guys? Because I made a mistake. I either missed the eagle artillery with one of the earthquake spells or one of the lightning spells. But guys, yes. All right, we'll go back to that in a moment. The next stage of the attack is the golems. All three golems, left, right, and center, with the witches behind, then the super wizards, heroes, and the log launcher in the center. Use that grand warden ability nice and early to protect as many troops as possible. We don't have any spells left. So it's all down to just hero abilities now and looking after your, your troops as best as you can. So sorry, back to the earthquake spell. So yes, four earthquake spells on the town, town hall so the log launcher can take out the town hall easily. Then four more on the eagle artillery, which means the five lightning spells then can then take out the eagle artillery. Obviously, I made a mistake there. One of my earthquake spells didn't quite hit the eagle artillery or one of my uh, lightning spells just missed. So just take your time. I like to show you sometimes, guys, how not to do it. And that was sort of how not to do it. Uh, so yeah, just make sure you take out the Eagle Artillery. I know it's tempting to go, you know what? I'm not going to go after the Eagle Artillery with those four Earthquakes and five Lightnings. Let's go after two Scatter Shots. Try not to. Just stick with the Eagle Artillery. Trust me, I used this attack strategy quite a, a few times. And I found if I didn't go for the Eagle Artillery, it just didn't work as well. And then, of course, after you've taken out the Town Hall, guys, it's about using your Royal Champion. Looking at the battlefield, deciding where to send her in. Watch out for single target Infernos and send her in away from other heroes if you can and guys if i'm honest uh you know you're probably uh, you it's a really good attack strategy this is different and the spells are what make it amazing and of course who's that over sorry not yet though who's that over on the right hand side off screen i do believe i've just heard from the battlefield that there's a, a minion about there he is guys just on the right hand side of the screen i'm just trying to hide him from you but mike the minion has been deployed and you know what that means yes it means three stars are almost guaranteed. Where is he? There he is. Uh, just taking out that uh, spell factory there. Mike the Minion is going to deliver three stars. Well done, Mike. Well done. So let's see if we can do it properly this time, guys, and uh, put the spells down correctly. So teaser bases, that's fine. We've got all these earthquake spells to open up the base. There's the Eagle Artillery. I can see you down there. We're going to get to you in just a moment. So four earthquake spells there. Don't worry about sort of taking out that outer wall segment. As long as we damage the town hall and open up that sort of central compartment there, the log launcher can break that wall down in a moment. Then four more earthquake spells damaging. Finally, we damage the Eagle Artillery. And there we go. Five lightnings. Goodbye, Eagle Artillery. Goodbye. And it sort of opened up the center of the base. And now it's just a spam attack, guys, as quickly as we can. Uh, we're going to put down a golem in the corner there. Then the log launcher. The other golems on the left. And the uh, super wizards are doing a great job. Hopefully that log launcher will break that outer wall. We can get a few troops to go into the base. It's a bit, a bit down to luck, if I'm honest. Uh, with these teaser bases, I find time is the most important factor. Get everybody on the battlefield as quickly as you can. Send them in. Use the Grand Warden ability. Try and look after your troops as best as possible. And the one thing, I guess, is you've used all your spells, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. We've been a bit lucky, I guess. We've got quite a few troops going into the base, which really does help. I'm going to take out that uh, expo, and then the troops can just move forward. This is looking pretty good. Have we used our Royal Champion yet? No. So this is sort of a, 
how to do it. The first replay was how not to do it. We didn't take out the Eagle Artillery. Uh, and like I said, guys, it might be tempting to take out other targets, but just stick with the Eagle Artillery. Trust me. We've sent in the Royal Champion on the left-hand side. I've used her ability quickly. I don't trust that single target Inferno. It always seems to lock on your Royal Champion. Uh, the other day, guys, I was walking to town for a loaf of bread. I saw a, I saw an Inferno Tower in the field next to me. I was like, oh, that's nice. Suddenly, I felt something warm on the back of my neck. The Inferno Tower had locked on the back of my neck, guys. I had to run, dropped my loaf of bread on the floor. It fell in a puddle, and I just just made it out of there okay. Unfortunately, the loaf of bread I could not salvage. I just left it there, and I think some seagulls came down and uh, started eating it later. Anyway, so uh, on the left-hand side, Mike the Minion's been deployed. Quite magnificent. The Royal Champion's still going. She's doing a great job, and that's down to just deploying her at the right time. And as you can see, guys, it's going to be quite a comfortable three-star attack. Magnificent. This really is a nice attack strategy. And uh, like I was trying to say earlier, guys, that there's not many attack strategies anymore uh, because, you know, we've done so many different attacks, really. Finding a newish attack strategy with these sort of spells, it's great. And Mike the Minion, three stars again. You are indeed the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans. And if you look closely, oh, he's gone. But you can see those massive teeth Mike has got. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Join the Samus Army for plenty more videos. And the, the end screens up here, guys. Some videos to check out if you want. Okay. Take care, guys. Watch out for Inferno Towers. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you later.